think we need to spend a lot more energy talking about solutions as opposed to one versus the other and the hunger games of state aid because that's not what it's supposed to be. Every single child in all 700 plus districts deserve full funding, period. Fourth grade music is in danger of being cut and brightened. If we will not work to allocate more resources to our public schools, it's important that we keep providing kids with this resource. A range of elective courses, AP courses, modified sports, instrumental music, in fourth grade, Spanish in sixth grade, responsive and hardworking counselors. My kids have benefited from all of these services and more. Children who are involved in our classes, their standardized test scores are much higher. The dropout rate is lower. Art allows children to find their voice. We can't take that away. If we have cuts, library TAs um, and part of that staffing that we don't have to have could definitely go. That would be detrimental to us here. It's imperative that we continue to recruit and retain the highest quality professionals. Children first. They deserve our best every day. It's our obligation. It's their right. When you cut teachers and paraprofessionals and deny services to children in the middle of the school year, well, it communicates clearly to the children that somebody doesn't think enough of them to fund them adequately. Ever since the layoffs, we have had some issues with some of our students. Um, a lot of them crying because their teachers are gone. Um, I saw a fifth grade student hugging a teacher that was getting ready to leave because she just got laid off, saying that I'm losing my family. And that's trauma on our children. And people don't realize how much trauma they've already been through. And I'm trained in social emotional, you know, restorative practices. But as a classroom teacher, I don't always have the resources or the time or flexibility to address their needs. In a highly segregated uh, community, we don't have money for inner city students. And it's time and time again. Our most vulnerable population of students never get the resources they need. We need curriculum that focuses on resources. We need um, technology. We need intervention teachers. We need reading teachers. So we have some visitors today here that want to hear from you guys. If we were to get some magical money, what would you guys want for our school to make our learning stronger? Okay. And I think by bringing this to light, those who really care and are progressive will make changes. That's what this whole bus tour is about, to bring it very clearly in front of people. You have to make the changes, you have to fund these schools.